we tested the Samsung JetBot AI Plus Robot Vacuum versus eight different performance tests that measure cleaning performance, navigation, and usability. How did it do? Let's find out now. This video is sponsored by NapLab. NapLab is our sister channel where we put mattresses to the test. We test mattresses through our battery of nine different tests to create the most objective, transparent, and helpful reviews possible. If you're in the market for a new mattress and need help, visit us over at naplab.com or on our channel at YouTube. First, let's start with our performance tests. For our cleaning test, we use four different debris types across three different floor types. We lay the debris in the direct cleaning path of the robot vacuum and measure the amount of debris removed by weight. The Samsung JetBot AI Plus had great clean performance overall. It was able to remove 95.8% of all debris across all floor types. Generally, the robot vacuum was able to remove the majority of the debris. However, it did have issues with certain types depending on the floor type. On hardwood floors, the JetBot struggled to remove the largest debris type, cereal. Specifically, the pieces that were abnormally large by being stuck together with another piece. These larger pieces didn't fit under the body of the vacuum. Otherwise, all of the other debris types were removed. The Samsung JetBot AI Plus experienced similar issues with the smallest debris type on low and high power carpets. While the majority of all debris was removed, the remaining debris was mostly sugar and kitty litter. However, the sugar and kitty litter that did remain was minimal. To test the Samsung JetBot's capabilities to remove hair, we place long strands of hair in the direct cleaning path of the robot. We then run the vacuum over the hair and check to see if any hair remains on the floor and if any tangled in the brush roll. The JetBot was able to easily remove all of the hair on the floor. However, the real issue was the hair getting tangled. After checking the brush roll, I noticed a good amount of the hair had wound tightly around the brush. This hair was difficult to remove, took five minutes to clean out, and required the use of scissors. If you often have long strands of hair or long strands of pet fur, make sure to check the brush roll often to avoid too many tangles. Our pet hair test is similar to our long hair test. We take pet fur, lay it on high pile carpet, let the robot vacuum run over it, and check to see how much was removed. The Samsung JetBot did a good job, but not great. It was able to remove more than half of the pet fur, however, not much more than that. After the robot cleaned the carpet, I noticed a good amount of hair remained tangled in the fibers. While this performance isn't stellar, most robot vacuums struggle with pet fur in general. If you have a pet that sheds a lot or has long strands of hair, you may want to tackle that first, the more powerful vacuum. For obstacle avoidance, we wanted to see how well the Samsung JetBot AI Plus could avoid common objects that could be lying on the floor while cleaning. The JetBot uses its sensors, paired with AI, to recognize objects and navigate around them. When an object is recognized, it will notify you in the app, as well as mark it on the map for you to review later. To test these features, we place a shoe, mug, cord, and fake pet waste on the floor. We then run the vacuum in that area and watch to see how well it avoided the obstacles. Overall, the Samsung JetBot was successfully able to avoid all of the obstacles. However, it didn't completely avoid them. In some cases, the JetBot would mostly avoid the object, only to have the corner of the robot snag on the object and move it around a little bit. In our test, the JetBot never moved an object too much. If you often leave expensive objects like laptops or phones attached to low-hanging cords, you may wish to make sure those are secure before cleaning. To test navigation of the Samsung JetBot on a broader scale, we focus on three core requirements. Can the robot vacuum fully navigate and clean our space? Can it not get stuck while cleaning? And can it return to the charger? Our test showed the JetBot was able to fully navigate our office and studio space without getting stuck and return to the base most of the time. During our testing, we had two occasions where the robot got stuck and then was unable to return to base. In both cases, the JetBot stated that a wheel was stuck and it was unable to move. However, since those incidents, the JetBot has not gotten stuck again. Despite our office and studio space often being cluttered with different products for testing, light sands, video equipment, and other objects. Our cleaning speed test showed the Samsung JetBot AI Plus was able to clean our 1,000 square foot office space within 100 to 110 minutes. This is considerably slower than other robot vacuum models we've tested. However, the cleaning length may not be an issue depending on your needs. If you run the vacuum in your home during low traffic hours, the length probably isn't an issue. The Samsung JetBot had excellent usability. The device is easy to set up, control, and keep running like new. It comes with a few accessories, but the simplicity makes it easier to get your robot vacuum running out of the box.
box. It takes 10 to 15 minutes to set up out of the box, excluding charging time, and requires setting up the clean station and turning on the jet. But from there, you can connect it to the SmartThings app. Once the app is connected, you'll have a range of features to control and monitor the vacuum. With Samsung's SmartThing app, the JetBot usability is dramatically improved. The app is easy to navigate and has a simple UI that gives you control over your robot. There is also limited control on the device itself. The Samsung JetBot has three buttons on the device. Two of these are touch buttons, while the power button is a physical switch. These include a power switch, the start and stop button, and the home button. When you press the home button, it sends the robot vacuum to the clean station. The clean station allows the JetBot to automatically empty its dustbin. Beyond the dustbin, the only major maintenance tasks include changing the filter once a year and keeping your brush rolls clean. To test the noise level, we let the vacuum run on each mode and measure the level of noise created by the device. We use a sound meter and measure from about 3 feet away for 30 seconds. Our testing showed that the JetBot has a decibel range of 45 to 66 dB. Here's what the Samsung JetBot sounds like in each mode. And also, here's what it sounds like when it's emptying. This is similar to what we've seen in other robot vacuum models. While self-emptying, the JetBot is considerably louder. This is a quick process that generally takes less than 30 seconds. If you're worried about the level of noise while sleeping, you can always use the SmartThings app to set up a downtime, also known as a Do Not Disturb mode, for those hours. Additionally, the Samsung JetBot AI Plus has a voice assistant that will notify you of the current status of vacuum. If you want to adjust the volume, change the language, or turn off the voice completely, there are options to do so within the app. The Samsung JetBot AI Plus is a robot vacuum with self-emptying capabilities. It comes with a clean station that can automatically empty the vacuum's dustbin, reducing overall maintenance. This allows for extended cleaning times and less hands-on experience. In our cleaning test, the JetBot showed solid performance, removing 95.8% of total debris by weight. This is a great performance that is more than capable of handling the majority of messes around your home. With the app, you can adjust maps, receive cleaning reports, and set custom cleaning schedules. The SmartThing app provides a wide range of settings and options to control the Samsung JetBot AI Plus. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments and questions, please drop us a note down below. If you're interested in buying the JetBot, we've got a link in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at moderncastle.com. As always, thank you. I said thank you so much for watching. <laughs> get that. Get that. Boom! If I don't have a good snap, that'd be like...